Welcome to Golden Software's demonstration video. This video will focus on adding, editing, and exporting drawn objects. A common request is to be able to draw objects on the map, such as text annotations or additional lines and polygons, and then have them moved and scaled when the map is moved and scaled. For this demonstration, I am going to open the post.srf sample file. To start drawing objects that are part of the map, we can add an empty base layer to the map. To do this, in the Object Manager, select the Map object. Click Map, Add, Empty Base Layer. Notice a base object is added to the map frame. Click the plus sign next to the base object to see that there are no objects currently in the map layer. To add items to the base layer, right-click on Base and select Enter Group. We are now in the base layer group. This means any object entered in the group will automatically be moved and scaled with the map. Click Draw, Polygon to add a polygon to the map. I'm going to do this again and draw two additional polygons. Now that I am done drawing in the map, I will click Arrange, Exit Group to exit out of the base map object. Any of the polygon objects can be selected in the Object Manager to have individual properties edited in the Property Manager. Since the polygons are part of the base layer in the map, when the map is moved or rescaled, the polygons will also be moved or rescaled appropriately. For example, to change the map scale, in the Object Manager, select the Map object. In the Property Manager, select the Scale tab. If I change the X length in page units to 4, notice the polygons are resized with the map. I can change the scale back to 6 and the polygons are once again adjusted. The drawn objects can be exported to vector files and map units. This allows the drawn objects to be imported into other applications or used as a blanking file in Surfer. To export just the polygons, in the Object Manager, Uncheck the boxes next to the layers and axes that you do not want to export. This will make them invisible in the plot so that only the drawn objects remain. Click File, Export. In the Export dialog, enter a file name. Use the default Save As Type, BLN Golden Software Blanking. Click Save. In the Export Options dialog, notice the file rectangle coordinates are in map units and are different than the source rectangle coordinates, which are in page coordinates. Click OK. Surfer also contains editing features to help manipulate imported or drawn polylines and polygons. I am going to import the BLN file that I just exported. Click File, New, Plot. Click Map, New, Base Map. In the Import dialog, Select the Polygon Export.BLN file and click Open. To edit the objects in the base map, right click on the base object in the Object Manager and select Enter Group. The editing tools can be found under the Geo Processing menu in Surfer 12. The Reshape tool can be used to move, add, and delete vertices within a selected polyline or polygon. For example, select the Polygon object under the base map in the Object Manager. Click Geo Processing, Reshape. The polyline is now shown with red lines and the vertices are indicated with white squares. We can select the top left node and drag it to the left to see the polygon reshape. To add a node, hold down the control key on the keyboard. The cursor will change into a plus sign. Click on that location to add a node. A node can be deleted by selecting it and pressing delete on the keyboard. Press Escape on the keyboard to exit the reshape mode. The Line Simplification and Line Smoothing tools are used to add or remove vertices from an existing polyline or polygon. The Line Simplification tool is used to remove points from the selected polyline or polygon, and the Line Smoothing tool is to add additional points to smooth the line. The Polyline to Polygon and Polygon to Polyline are useful commands to convert an existing drawn object into another format. The Polyline to Polygon command converts one or more selected polylines into polygons. The first point and the last point in the polyline are connected with a new line to form the closed polygon. 
the polygon to polyline command converts one or more selected polygons to closed polylines. The polygon object in the object manager was converted to a polyline object. The combine island lakes and split island lakes commands will connect or split polygons. The combine islands lakes command combines multiple selected polygons into a single complex polygon. The split island lakes command splits a single complex polygon into separate polygons. To use this command, in the object manager, select the two polygon objects below the base object. Click Combine Islands Lakes. Notice the two polygon objects were combined into a single polygon object in the object manager. The connect polylines and break polyline commands are used to connect and break selected polylines. Connect polylines connects the selected polylines at the closest endpoint on each line. The break polyline command is used to break a polyline into multiple polylines. Once this command is selected, you can click on the desired location to break the polyline. To do this, in the object manager, select the polyline object. Click geoprocessing, break polyline. Now, click somewhere on the polyline. The polyline object has been split into two polyline objects in the object manager. This concludes the overview of adding, editing, and exporting drawn objects in Surfer 12. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Golden Software.